I met many people who think that the uh, uh, movement in the Glados, it, is, it works as a movement of flames, so it appears on the streets from time to time. Uh, it can gather a lot of people on demonstrations, half million, almost a million in Madrid or in Barcelona. But not. Uh, but people in Poland, I have a feeling, don't exactly are aware or informed about the day by day work of the movement. The day by day of the movement it depends on the decisions of our government. No. Sometimes I say that the best things that could happen in Spain that is that our president is for the right wing side because he's the best revolutionary to motivate us to continue working. No? The 14th and, uh, strike in Spain was first organized by the traditional trade unions, uh, UGT and CCOO. Then the movement, the social movement, uh, decided to join this day and to create what we call a critic bloc. That is a group of people that demonstrated this day, but also uh, indicating different things. At the end of the strikes, we have seen, for example, in Madrid, how people were playing music and cars of police coming and trying to beat people in this, in this place. This is the answer of the government to the people to use the violence. And this is, unfortunately, what arrives here through the media. Because we don't have to forget that we are trying to create our alternative, but we are not that much powerful in amount of people or, or, or the people that we can reach, like the mass media. No? Since 2007, <laughs> since now, we uh, were aware that uh, uh, organizing uh, a protest, organizing a resistance only at the national level is completely powerless. Okay. This is uh, after four years, we saw exactly a uh, death. So we are now this uh, year, this, what happened uh, last uh, uh, week with this uh, general strike, uh, make a really new turning point, new step, uh, because we are really aware that uh, the national space is, uh, we, they are very different uh, from each other, but just alone, just ourselves will not enough uh, for this uh, uh, kind of uh, level. The common words that we, slogan that we used uh, for uh, that uh, strike was occupy the strike. Uh, what does it mean that? It means that uh, we, uh, we think that the practice of strike, it doesn't belong only to the union, okay, but it belongs also to very, uh, all the people are able to uh, make uh, this strike. Also, unemployed people uh, are able to make strike. So we'll uh, develop this kind of practices, like to occupy street, to uh, forbid uh, uh, the circulation, to block the circulation of uh, the cities during uh, that days, and uh, to generalize uh, this uh, strike. Of course, Ukraine is outside the EU and uh, the situation and the main political and ideological antagonisms that uh, we are facing uh, in Ukraine now are somehow completely different. Of course, we also experienced and still are experiencing the crisis, but still um, it has different consequences uh, uh, to us. This antagonism that we have now uh, had no official representation. I mean that this antagonism wasn't present on, uh, on the state level. It was on, only on some social underground level. So like everybody understood it very well, but it, uh, it had no political representation. And uh, now uh, we see that this uh, protest dimension, it's, I think that it's, we have a lot of in common here in this Poland, this uh, protestant dim uh, dimension is uh, exploited and is used mostly by far right. And that's why uh, there, is, there can be such an illusion that our countries are, are sleeping. But in fact, uh, like uh, more than a, than a week ago, there was a big march, neo-Nazi neo march, the biggest one in Europe, in Warsaw, like on the Independence Day of Poland, as you know, better than me maybe. 
So I mean that it's also the political problems that we are facing that uh, um, we are uh, fighting and uh, trying to deal with uh, not only the system, the capitalist order or like new uh, financial order with crisis and so on. But apart from that, besides from that, we also have very direct and real and material political enemy. To what degree there is a um, desire for real transformation or is it a stop austerity, only stop austerity? For example, this term alternative, in Britain, um, you know, the trade unions march under the word you know, alternative, which is simply invest in employment. The resistance is every time something that is a positive, is every time something that put the, that is a creative act to resist. It's not something that is passive. And the only thing, the only way to resist and to stop is to set up a new uh, process, new alternative. And uh, in that sense, I mean, uh, uh, the strike was, uh, of last week, was uh, just an episode. But what, uh, I mean, really interesting because it really connected different country, different moment, is very uh, singularity, uh, really. But uh, what is very important is what uh, is happened before and after the strike. This is what is really matter in the strike. For instance, uh, uh, what uh, is going on nowadays in Greece, uh, I think the most important experiment that uh, they are doing uh, is that uh, they are trying to self-manage uh, hospital. They have occupied hospital, uh, they have occupied clinic, uh, and they are trying to self-manage this kind of uh, uh, welfare. Okay, and uh, when this is a kind of resistance because it was just a resistance against cats. Okay, the government cuts uh, 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 the money, the funding of uh, these uh, places, uh, and the people answering, the self-managing these uh, processes. Okay, and uh, doing this kind of uh, self-managing, they uh, reinvented this uh, relation of service. When a doctor made a diagnosis, every time the doctor must be together with just people. Okay, so they have to share the knowledge. This means that uh, the uh, clinical knowledge will be shared and everyone is able to make a diagnosis at a certain level, of course. Uh, this means that uh, you don't need to learn or to study to be a doctor. You is this not, is not this point, but they are sharing knowledge. They are also sharing this figure of doctors. And also they have to discuss the cure adapted for a patient and the cure becomes something that is not related to medicine or something related to this kind of stuff but is, is becoming something related to society, to the socialization of life. So I think this is a very interesting point, a really advanced through which uh, uh, alternative resistance are taking place. Well, I wonder what does it mean to take a positive uh, step um, in the meaning uh, a positive step of being an uh, occupier in the daily life. I'm not thinking about, I would say, leaders, people who are uh, organizing, who are really involved. But I think about people who live a life like me, going to university, doing some foundation job, and what does it mean, what, what kind of state of, of mind is it to be a daily, to be a occupier on a daily basis? In Rome, uh, occupy uh, for us uh, has a meaning, uh, for instance, uh, to uh, rethinking uh, the way to which uh, the university has to work. Uh, the student uh, in uh, Rome uses this occupy, like occupy courses, uh, and they uh, reinvented uh, the way to which university uh, is working. Uh, uh, so, is uh, I mean, uh, this in uh, how I mean, this uh, 
the effect of uh, this uh, way of living uh, institution in that way means at the same time uh, reinventing a uh, new form of institution. This means new rules, uh, a new way of uh, living uh, uh, together. The educational process is becoming uh, a political subjectivation, okay? Because they are using this uh, service uh, and transforming this service into relational, into uh, service relations. This means that uh, it's becoming uh, a transformer. What is the consumer and what is the providers? But this relation between consumer and providers become uh, a relation to which they have a They could transform the place where they are living. Would you say that Spain's biggest problem is unemployment? The main problem is to convert the private debt into public and now we have to pay through the austerity measures this debt. Then, there the are no perspective of new employment in Spain and the people is really specialized. I mean, we have a lot of young people from Spain that they have to leave the country to get a job. People with degrees, with doctorates, with a lot of studies. And we have people that they got not that much specialization that arrive to the country and they have to leave. The same in every country uh, when you look at it. But however, in Spain right now it's very high and it wasn't always like that. So it, in your case, it grew very rapidly. If the rate of unemployment wasn't so high, uh, probably not so many people have uh, at first thought of joining a, a movement, becoming an activist. The 55% of the young people has no job. Right now. So again, maybe the best uh, countermeasure would be to, uh, like a national urge to create jobs. Where we get the money from? I mean, uh, when uh, Paul, yes? When Paul, you said you, you, you protest against austerity. Did you get in mind uh, austerity measures in general or just their degree? Austerity have a different uh, faces. Okay, there's different uh, layer and the thing. Uh, I mean, the unemployment is uh, a case and the effect at the same time. Because maybe for once you could, uh, and maybe that's already in your protest, that some of the austerity measures, like a half or I don't know, some part, uh, could be uh, changed from uh, taking to people, from people and increasing the debt into well, sort of more creating jobs. The problem, yeah, the problem uh, is not that you don't have a job, the problem is that uh, you don't have a future. Yeah. You can imagine your future. This is the problem. It's only the question of time when Poland, uh, because still in Poland, you don't have such a, on a strong scale, such a process as proletarization of the middle class. Mid because middle class is a kind of a object of fetishism today. Yeah? Like it's a main object, uh, sorry, for masturbation of contemporary ideology. And everybody is like honoring uh, middle class because it's everything we have. Yeah? It's like our guarantee from poverty. We are, it's like a mask. We are hiding our problems behind this absolute ideologic uh, notion. And we are not, it's the middle class who is uh, uh, rising up in these countries because uh, they are uh, losing all they have. And it's uh, not because they are leftists, uh, not because it's only the question is here, uh, which force will be prepared enough and will be strong enough to be on the top of the wave of the protest, to stay with this protest and somehow to handle the problems. Because in, in, it could be that, uh, as I have said, the far right could be th these guys who are running this stuff. And maybe, if it, uh, for example, happened in Poland, it could be on era of Mladzewska Polska. It's absolutely easy. Like in a very big chance in Ukraine, that it would be Freedom Party, of course. Because it's now uh, these, uh, these uh, forces in our uh, part of Europe that are dealing with this uh, social activism, with this kind of social networking. All of a sudden, I begin to wonder how your fascists connect with debt, or is there any place where they connect? Because these two subjects seem to stand apart from each other, but perhaps we are connected. Every revolutionary chance that is lost, the, the first result of this is far right, is fascism. The, we, the more chances we are losing, the more power to the far right is, uh, is coming. So I mean, in some sense, it's not far right that is gaining more power, but it's the leftists who are like uh, stepping back and back, who are losing the fields of battle. 
on which they should be present and to, to propose really radical leftist uh, projects, political projects. That is happening now in Italy and Spain, luckily. Thank you very much. Thank you.